Sure. Well, I, I think I was lucky uh, because uh, I uh, came uh, and uh, took up my job maybe some 10 days after the new uh, government uh, got, into, uh, got into office. Um, I've presented my uh, credentials to His Majesty the King now more or less one month ago. So uh, I now look forward to meet all the different ministers and maybe I'll be able to give a more educated answer once I have uh, met them. But for sure, uh, uh, I think there is different priorities that the government has, uh, which coincide with the priorities that I've just uh, set out. Um, I had the pleasure to uh, speak to the Minister of uh, Environment about uh, 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 combating uh, plastic pollution, for example, a big priority of uh, his uh, reforestation, another big uh, priority of his. Um, I had the uh, pleasure to uh, listen to the uh, Prime Minister and, and hear him speak about how he wants to attract uh, European uh, uh, investment. And I think some of our businesses were also able to explain what they would see as the necessary reforms in the country uh, to attract more of that uh, European uh, investment. So uh, definitely there's a lot of, a lot of fields where our uh, interests uh, converge. And uh, 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 again, let me uh, come back to you in two months time and then I'll be able to comment on the different files more concretely. Okay, so then what is your expectation, you know, in working closely with the new government? And well, I, I, I think we, uh, <laughs> we, can, we can find those uh, uh, common uh, interests. I mentioned a few, I'll name just one more, is uh, renewable energy. Uh, if we want to make that transition to a, um, uh, to a sustainable economy, to a circular economy, clean renewable energy will be one uh, priority. Uh, and uh, we heard the Prime Minister say that he had taken the commitment to build uh, uh, no more coal power plants, but to shift to renewable energy. Uh, and that is, of course, hydropower, it's solar power, it's wind uh, uh, energy. And I, I dare say that a lot of the European companies have a certain expertise in those uh, domains. As, so that's just one area where we can work together. And we will uh, accompany that with uh, dialogue and support to the government, for example, when it comes to establishing uh, its energy grid, which is which gets very technical, but which is very important uh, when you want to, for example, build solar panels all over uh, Phnom Penh, you need to be able to connect them to, uh, to the grid. So yeah, there's a lot of work uh, cut out for us. Yeah, it, it will be a lot of work and perhaps uh, uh, the EU and Cambodia can work well on the, uh, for the common interest. Sure, okay. absolutely. So, um, as you know, uh, Cambodia has got a big change this year, and right now, the, most of the new members of the government, most of them uh, receive education abroad. So they are young, they are uh, driven, they are enthusiastic in um, improve the country. So. Do you think that the future democracy here in Cambodia or human rights would improve uh, given the fact that most of them uh, get education abroad? Um, well, I think <laughs> democracy, yeah. uh, human rights, uh, good governance, rule of law, th these are essential components of our external action. This is the case across the world. Uh, this is. Uh, what we think are not just our values, but our interests. Hence, um, it's something that we discuss with uh, any uh, third country. And Cambodia is no exception uh, to that. It's part of our uh, DNA. And uh, there's a number of uh, programs, projects that we will uh, continue. Uh, I think uh, one where we partner with the government is on public financial management, how to ensure there's sufficient uh, transparency in the accounting, uh, procurement, um, but also our work with uh, civil society, which uh, we will continue because we think a vibrant civil society is good for uh, for any country. Okay, so Mr. Ambassador, uh, before I wrap up this interview, uh, 
One last question to you. Uh, what would you want the Cambodian people to see you as an EU am ambassador to the country? Well, uh, I think very, very simply, some somebody that uh, has the best intentions with the country and that wants to just improve their uh, relationship with uh, the European uh, Union, as simple as that.